hey what's going on guys let's look at this problem right here here the question is asking express the following numbers in cartesian form here we have three parts first part is z is equal to 3 e power j 5 over 4 this form is a polar form we are going to convert this one into cartesian form or in other words we can say rectangular form in order to do that we have to use the euler's identity that's given by r e power j theta that can be equalized to r times cos theta plus j sin theta here we have to figure out what is our r value and also we have to find out what is our angle is. Here you can see this is our r value and the angle is 5 over 4. So we are going to do the a part. In a part r is equal to 3 and the angle is 5 over 4. And when we write this one in this pattern r cos theta j sin theta we are going to have 3 cos 5 over 4 plus j sin 5 over 4. And this is going to be the conversion. Now let's try to simplify this one. We want the rectangular form. So 3 times cos 5 over 4 is going to be 1 over root 2. And then plus j sin 5 over 4 also 1 over root 2. If you multiply these two by 3, this is going to give us 3 over root 2 plus 1 over root 2 j or you can say j over root 2. But we have to multiply this 3 for both. So this is going to be j times 3 over root 2. 3 over root 2. And that's going to be our final answer. This is going to be the conversion of this polar form to rectangular form. Now let's look at the second part. Second part is also in the complex, I mean polar form. It's 1 over e power j. We can also write this one as, let's continue here, b part z is equal to 1 over e power j and if we bring this one into the numerator we are going to have e power negative j okay now you can see this is almost matching this pattern what is our r value r value is equal to 1 since the coefficient is 1 we are going to have r value is 1 and the angle is going to be negative 1 theta since we ha don't have any phi or anything like that this means this is a 1 and we have negative sign this is a negative 1 and if we convert this one into this pattern, this is going to become what? We are going to have cos r is 1, so we just leave it as it is. Cos negative 1 plus j sin negative 1. And if you calculate this one, you are going to get cos negative 1, that's equal to 0 0.5403, plus j sin negative 1 is equal to negative 0 0.8415. So if you multiply this one by negative sign, we are going to get 0 0.5403 minus j 0 0.8415. And that's going to be the polar, I mean rectangular form of this complex number. Now let's look at the last one. Let's get rid of these things. Okay. Let's get rid of this one and also this one okay now let's go to the last one the last one is c in the c part we have z is equal to 1 plus j times let's write the one down z is equal to 1 plus j times minus 4 plus j3 it seems like it's already in rectangular form but this is not simplified to simplify this one we can just foil it multiply this one multiply this one multiply this one multiply this one so if you simplify this one what's going to happen we are going to have negative 4 right here and then j3 that's going to be plus j3 and then here we have j times negative 4 that's going to be minus j4 and then j times j3 j is what N negative square root of negative 1 if you square this one you are going to get like this is j j square is going to be negative 1 so negative 1 times 3 that's going to be negative 3 right negative 3 is going to be the j times j j3 so this is what we get and also we can simplify this one furthermore we can add the real numbers together and also complex i mean imaginary numbers together so minus 4 minus 3 that's going to become minus 7 minus uh, plus 3 minus 4 that's going to become minus 1 so we are going to have minus j so this is equal to z and that's our final answer for the last part. And that's how we do the conversion from polar form to Cartesian form. Oh, the last one is not a polar form, but 
we are converting everything into Cartesian simpler form. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.